hello everyone welcome to gmail tutorials in this video we will see that how can we customize the labels so labels as we have seen in the previous videos are actually used to organize our emails into one uh, place suppose we have two projects we can create two labels for those two projects and all the emails related to one particular project will be moved under that particular label for easier organization so in this video we will see how can we actually customize that particular label to make it more appealing more uh, attractive so let's just see these are the two labels we created the e-commerce project and the social media networking project suppose i want to customize this e-commerce project label so i can just click on these three dots go to this label color and here i can just select a predefined color suppose uh, for the e-commerce project, my theme is red and green. So out of these two themes, I can just choose any of these colors or if I want, I can add a custom color as well. So this red looks good to me. So I'm just going to select this particular red and now you can see the arrow is colored as red. It is used for easier identification. Next, I have a social media networking project. So this label, I want to uh, do blue because that is the theme of my website, social media website that I'm building. So it is for easier identification. Okay. Other things what we can customize is uh, why, where do we want to show in the labels list? So right now, if you see in the labels list, the label is shown at all times. But if you just select show if unread, then this uh, label has been removed. We click on undo. So what happens actually is if there are any other unread emails in that particular label, then only it would be shown. Otherwise, it won't be shown so that we don't want. We want it shown at all the times. Then similarly, in the message list also, you want to show them or hide them that you can choose. You can edit the label or uh, name here. Suppose e-commerce project instead of e-commerce project. I just say e-commerce website click on save so the label name has changed to e-commerce website okay was renamed if you want to remove a label you can remove that if you want to add a sub label so that is for the uh, organization again suppose in the social media networking we have a marketing team we have a development team we have a devops team so these three teams are sending you different emails that you can use to organize in the sub labels in the social media networking we can create three sub labels let's just create one so the parent label would be social media networking project then we can just select marketing team so all the emails from the marketing team we will organize under this label click on create this actually acts as an individual label you can just change its color let's use a lighter shade of blue we add another sub label and this time let's say we do the devops team devops team click on create we can change its color as well to another shade of blue probably furthermore if you create a new label altogether you can actually nest it under this particular label and that would also make it a sub label so a new label name let's say we provide it as development And click on create so we can just change its label color to maybe a shade of purple so this is how we can further organize our emails that's it for this video thanks for watching